Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I have oh, <laughs> doing huge, my son. Ralphie, come here. Hi. This is Ralphie Bedford. Hiya. This is the secret that I have been keeping, everyone. I know I said like two videos back that the biggest announcement I was probably ever going to make until I have kids and get married. This is my surprise, Ralphie. I was planning on introducing you a little bit sooner. However, I've had Ralphie now for about five weeks and to be perfectly honest, I've not done anything. I have been knackered, just didn't wanna leave him. Like the only time I've ever left him is for the gym. But we've settled in now. We've settled in. we like best friends. From the minute he came, to be fair, he was completely settled in. He's like being the best puppy in the world. Um, but yeah, that's why I've just left it. We've settled in together. And then now we can come and meet the world on YouTube. Oh, look how beautiful he is. You are beautiful, aren't you? But yeah, that is a surprise that I've been keeping. It's not really a surprise now, because if you follow me on Instagram or anything, it's been announced a while ago. Um, but you can see video footage of my child. Life is great. I have a newborn. It has been challenging in terms of I've been knackered. I feel like a new puppy just takes over your life, um, which I knew. So that was fine, but we're really like getting into a routine now. And yeah, life is going great. So you'll see Ralphie a lot from now on in all the videos, seeing as though we literally me in my shadow. He's currently locked in here because my cleaner is here today and he just literally distracts her the whole time. So we've come in here to distract him and stop him from wanting to play with her for the whole two hours that she cleans. This YouTube video, I just thought I would do a little spend the week with me. I'm actually going back to Leeds as well because it is my brother's 30th in like two weeks. And I'm not actually sure the reason why, but we are having like one of the meals to celebrate. It's gonna be a few, I think, this week on wet on Thursday. So I'm going home. So you'll get to see my mum, my dad and my brother again, um, which everyone loved in the Spain vlog. And then it's my granddad's birthday on Friday. So yeah, got an ex a busy week. We're going back to Leeds. I love going back to Leeds with Ralphie because obviously I do not mind giving up every second of my working minute of moment of existence to Ralphie. However, when I go home, I have everyone to help me. So like my mum and dad are there. My mum's actually coming tomorrow. Um, but like my mum and dad are there, my brother's there, my grandma and grand are there, everyone's obsessed with him as you can imagine. So it's kind of like a little break, like I go home and I'm kind of just like, oh, I can relax, like I don't have to be on edge every second of every waking moment that he's gonna like chew something and you know, need to just be aware because everyone else is on job. So it's like having a little holiday when I go home. I've been taking him home to Leeds a little bit and it's just like, oh, it's like childcare. You know what I mean? It's just, it's the best. So I'm excited to go home for a few days, have everyone looked after. And even like when I go to the gym when I'm in Leeds, it doesn't matter. I'm not, I don't feel guilty for going to the, the gym and leaving him because there's always somebody in the house. So it's nice and I'm excited to go home. Ralphie absolutely loves everyone. So he's excited. Are you excited? Are we going to go see your grandma and granddad? My mum and dad was like, Mary, I really thought that our first grandchild would not have four legs and be furry. Sometimes that's how life is. That is how life is. This is the secret. It's not really a secret because I announced it so long ago on Instagram. But my child, Ralphie Bedford, weighing at 1.5 kg at the minute, is happy and healthy. And we're getting on like a house on fire. So this afternoon I have actually got to go to an event but I need to wash my hair because it is greasy. I've been doing errands all morning. Um, so I'm going to get ready for that now, wash my hair and then we can get going to the end. I'm ready. This outfit is a little bit thrown together. Excuse me, I'm washing in the background if you can see. So I bought these earrings when I was in Spain with my family. 
And then I got this blazer from Zara yesterday and I feel like I wanted to wear it because I feel like I need to be like dressed quite smart, do I? I don't know. So anyway, that a little Mars t-shirt, some grey jeans and then my Travis's because I've like got beige, cream, white, a white Chanel bag. I feel like the colours are all coming together but then I don't know if I just look like a mismatch but... I think it looks quite nice. There's gold on the bag, gold on the earrings. I think without the earrings, I'd be struggling. Like leaving the house when you've got a puppy is like, I need to leave the telly on for him. I need to leave him food down. I need to leave him treats down. So I need to sort all that out and then we'll get going. I'm actually going to get an Uber there because I feel like in Manchester, driving around, trying to find parking, it's literally five minutes in an Uber. I might as well just get the Uber. So I'm just going to start out Ralphie and then we're on our way. So I'm actually on my way to a KVD event in Manchester. They're doing nails and my nails are in desperate need. So it was perfect. There's never ever, I don't feel like events in Manchester. So this is amazing. I don't have to travel. It's just here on my doorstep and I can't wait to see the new products. It is for the new Apple Blush and Bronze Balm Duo. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. And I'm on time. My appointment's at 2 and it is 59 and I'm a minute away. So I'm actually bang on time for a change. Obviously, you know, I'm late to everything. But I was like, no, I am going to be on time. And I've made it. I think I'm pulling up now. I spoke too soon. I went to the wrong cocktail. I went to Townhouse, not King Street Townhouse. So I'm just walking there now, which means I'm going to be 15 minutes late. How when I am on time, does nothing ever go right? Or maybe it's here actually, this is King Street Townhouse. But I'm gonna stick to where it's telling me to go. Who knew there's so many townhouses in Manchester? King Street Townhouse, there's one behind me. I could have just walked past that and missed it completely. Or I could be going to the right one. But he says I'm to go this way. <laughs> I'm lost. It's actually just typical. <laughs> How have I gone so wrong? I've literally gotten dropped off on the wrong side of Manchester. Good job it's a small city, so you can just walk through and it's like not bouncing with rain. Found it, oh my God, it looks so good. It's all over the windows. At least I'm here, no, it's the right place. I'm here, I made it, and it is so nice. Thank God it doesn't matter that way. It was fine. Oh, I was his nails fixed. Look. I'm actually going to get my nails done and then I'm gonna try out the new product. So there's my quite a say who are doing it. I'm gonna try it out. And I'm excited. I'm excited to get my nails done. Look at the state of these. This is the drinks menu. I'm gonna get a grind iced caramel latte. Using a colour. Yeah. So it's shimmery or shimmery. I think I like that. Yeah. What is can I see the, the lighter one please? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Glittery, please. Thank you. Nails are off and it's time to put the colour on. So how cool is this video? I'm so excited to try these afterwards. Nails are done. Nice. Right, we'll match for earrings. Now I'm going to try out the makeup. No reason why I came here. I'm just going to nail it. This is the foundation. This is the Dewey foundation, isn't it? And the concealers. I'm going to colour match now. Obviously not to my hand because I am white. I love trying a new foundation. So this is so exciting. Yeah, that one's nice. Yeah, that one's nice. Yeah. That one is like 42. Let me put a bit more on just so okay. you can see if I can. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. I love that. I can't really see it. Perfect. I'm happy with that one, yeah. That is a shade 42. The colour match to me. Good apple. Four concealers. Obviously, excuse how white my hand is, but. That is 111, which apparently is the most universal shade. That's 146. That's probably That'd be too be... dark, yeah. Right, let me find 137. Yeah. Where is she? Oh, this is good. This is 141, it's a bit in the middle. I feel like the lightest one, you know. Yeah. Because it looks like <laughs> yeah. when you've got your foundation yeah. on and you've put like a deeper concealer here, like. Yeah, I feel like the lightest one yeah. is the one. Please, oh, these are the brushes. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. That's literally what I would wear. Yeah, 
That's gorgeous. Number 30. Exclusive Orchard number 30. Is that? Test the blush. Yeah. Do I get for it? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh my god, that is gorgeous. We got powder as well. Yeah. It goes on so nicely with powder. That is unreal. Yeah. No, that is unreal. Because I've set my face. I've got powder on. Yeah. Setting spray. Everything. That is. I love that. I love that. Gorgeous goodie bag. How exciting. So I've just left and as I was just waiting for my Uber on the corner because I was I didn't drive on the way here, Diesel was opposite the shop and I was like that top's so nice in the window so just ran in and got it. Um haven't tried it on so it's probably gonna look absolutely awful on me. But I'm just on my way now, on my way home. I'm just calling in at Jason's to have my extensions taken out because my hair is basically brunette and Callum needs to colour it. ASAP. Even my dad said to me, Mary, what on earth is going on with your hair? So I am just going to Jason's now, take like 10 minutes to take it out, and then I can go home and see Ralphie. He's been by himself for like an hour and a half, and I feel awful, but then he's got to get used to being left by himself. I never leave him for like longer than two hours. Um, but yeah, I'll be so excited to see him when I get home, and I'll be so excited to see him. Hello, everyone. This is the next day, and my hair is out. I am about to go and get my hair done with Callum. I can't wait to see him. I've not seen him in like two months and Callum's also one of my friends and I just can't wait to have a catch up and tell him everything that's going on. So my mum is actually here. She is staying the night before we go back to Leeds tomorrow. So she is looking after Ralphie and I am finally going to get these roots sorted out because it is no joke. Like it's not a vibe at all is it so yeah i'm gonna go get this hair done let's go find these my mum is here ralph we've just been to pets at home and got him dental sticks and the giraffe look at a giraffe he doesn't even care about me right now because he's busy with that but let's go get the roots done we are halfway there foils are halfway on i was actually going to have a full head done today however i've got something huge coming up in not that long like it's like nine weeks and we decided that that is 100% more important we'd have a full fresh color of hair for so we're just gonna Karen's making me still feel like I'm blonde 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 but we're not gonna do a full blonde head we're gonna save it but I will still look like I'm back blonde again Callum is here we've just been reminiscing on LA we didn't vlog that, but we should have done. No, that would have been a shit show. It would have been a shit show, it would have been entertaining. Yeah, me and Mary walking around Santa Monica. Depressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, the funny story. I ended up leaving who I was with, meeting Callum. We were both just hungover walking around LA. Oh Day God. after Thanksgiving, like, what the fuck? Oh, we got. <laughs> we got. So fucked up in so We bought some Christmas jumpers. Are you going to insert the Christmas jumper picture? Yeah, I actually will. I'll insert the Christmas jumper picture. We paid 150 US dollars for Is these jumpers. 150 US dollars for them jumpers. But it was worth it. It was so worth it. It was worth it. It was Thanksgiving. We went to Soho House together at like one o'clock. I think I got home at like 11. Yeah, we were drinking um, the canteen. I know I yeah. was. I can't remember everything. Then we had shots the oh, next day. It was a bad day. It was a bad day. And we had to fly home. Yeah. Oh, memories. Oh, never I thought we'll do this Thanksgiving. Not be in LA, actually. <laughs> never. Again. Back blonde! Callum is the best. I've actually been coming to Callum since I was like 19, 18. We worked out earlier. Okay. I used to drive all the way from Leeds to come have my hair done. But this is why, because he is the hair god. We're going to have a little trim now, even though there's not much to trim. All right, but, a little bit. Where should we go, guys? Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> Imagine, I'd be like, <laughs> ready to attack the world. The bitch is back. Oh, I feel like a different person. I feel like Mary again. You look like you again, babe. 
morning everyone so it is the next day and i actually just need to come on here to have an announcement so obviously you know i so on the phone obviously i have been doing a plan with sophie um for summer and i know like i've not really i spoke quite a bit in the beginning on youtube but then i've not really kept you all up to date well today i have officially hit one stone down i can't believe it i've lost a stone a whole one stone a whole one stone, a whole one stone. i'm so happy in my pictures my before and afters and we're not done yet we're not at the end. We've got so long We've to go. We've got so long to go. And I am a whole stone down. I haven't been this light in years. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud really of you. I really am smashing it. And do you know what as well? Like I have still had a few cheats here and there. Mm. Haven't it's I? About, well, it's about like your 80% and your 20%. Like you can't always give it 100% effort all the time because it's just not sustainable. So mm. having those little cheat meals here and there will get you through. Mm. Like I've had, so I don't know this, but I had a Chinese about three weeks ago. Oh, great. Yeah, we did it. We had that one in the check-in, did we? <laughs> Me and Holly Flynn are doing it together and we'll text each other like, oh my God, Holly, I just broke my diet. And she's like, same. <laughs> behind my back like that's how it feels i feel like i'm in a three-way relationship but even with doing these things i've still lost a stone yeah because the majority of your work is you're on it 100 and mm -hmm. when you're on it you actually are 100 mm -hmm. on it like i will give you that you're very dedicated mm. to the cause i am i'm dedicated once i'm on it you can't break me well you can't obviously because i'm chinese but <laughs> it just shows in moderation you can still do it no you can 100 and... as well it's a lifestyle change I've lost a whole stone. I just was like trying my outfits on for my mum for tonight and tomorrow. And I was like, do you think I look skinnier? She was like, you do. So yeah, a whole stone down, guys. What a day. What a day to be alive. 28th of March, put it in your fucking diary. 28th of March, 2024. This is national holiday. Mary lost the stone. Mary lost the stone. <laughs> This is the bank holiday from now on, here and out. I'm going to ring up the pr Prime Minister and say, yeah. listen, we need a national holiday there because... It's a celebration, this. It is. Right. It is. I'm so happy. A whole stone down. So, yeah, we are on our way to summer. I yeah, am I not slacking. Because you know what? There's nothing worse than, like, last year, I was actually really guilty for this. I got to summer and I felt not good. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And then, like, when we was going to LA for my birthday, I remember three weeks before LA, I've been, we'd been in the Seychelles, like, I just weren't feeling my best, like, I'd been eating whatever, drinking whatever, going out every single night of the week. And then I was like, oh, my God, it's my birthday in three weeks, I need to go to, I'm going to LA, like, I don't feel good. And I literally starved myself. Exactly. Went to Barry's every single day, got shin splints to the point where I literally couldn't even run across the road in LA because my shins was hurting that much. And then I probably, I didn't look anywhere near what I looked now. And then I no. put it back on again by the time I came home from LA. Do you know what I mean? But like, I feel like doing it this way, having a few weeks and like sticking to my food. And I've not, I've probably eaten more these last few actually, weeks than I've ever eaten. Training, yeah, like actually sticking to a program and training and weight mm. training is building your shape and mm. building that womanly figure that you want rather yeah. than just like, Ripping your fat down because as soon as you'll strip your feet, what you used to do is strip your fat down for three weeks, and then as soon as you get on holiday and start drinking alcohol and eating shit, even by the second day, you look the same as what you did yeah. three weeks ago. So no, there's like, it, it, there's no it, there's no point in doing that mm. for anybody. Yeah. Um, and now you're out of that cycle, and now for you, it's actually more your actual lifestyle is changed now. Like, now mm. you wake up and have that breakfast every day, it's not yeah. like a shot. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, I remember when I life. first started on this plan. Um, Sophie was like, you need to have this for your breakfast. And I was, me and Holly was the same. We were both like, I'm literally gagging eating it because I'd never used to eat that big of a breakfast. Mm. And now obviously I wake up and I'm like, right, I'm hungry. Like I want to eat it. Like I'm starving, yeah. give me it. But yeah, I've eaten the most food that I've ever eaten and I've lost a stone. The most weight, exactly. Food is fuel, guys. Food, food is, is fuel. fuel. So yeah, just wanted to come on and share that win this morning. 
a whole stone down. She's well, fucking gone. smashing it! <laughs> <laughs> Wait until summer comes because all you're gonna see is there's traps on my Instagram. All you're gonna see is bikini pics everywhere. The wife era will be gone. <laughs> and Mary's first trap season will start. It will. Because bikini you've dedicated everything. a lot of your life yeah. and time to this. I've, I've dedicated, so, I will have dedicated weeks of my life to this. To show it off. So if you don't think I'm going to post a bikini picture every day or something, then you've got nothing coming. Because I am. You better follow. Yeah. You better press the follow button because I am <laughs> getting <laughs> naked on Instagram every day. It is. But anyway, yeah. Going to go now and get ready. Um, Bye, but guys. What a win that was. So we are back in Leeds, ready to go out for the night. Here is my outfit. I'm wearing full Zara tonight, like might as well be sponsored by Zara. So we're just getting ready to go out. Tonight we're actually going out to celebrate my dad's 60th, my brother's 30th, which is in a few weeks, and my cousin's birthday, which was two, which was yesterday. Um, but he lives in Qatar because he's a pilot. But he's actually home for his birthday. So it's like a multi, multi birthday celebration tonight. Ralphie is going to stay with my grandma and granddad. Um, and yeah, it's going to be like a little family Ra, gonna have a little drink. Celebrate that I've lost a stone. Excuse the mess, but this is tonight's outfit. So jeans are from Zara, tops from Zara, jackets from Zara, and the boots are from Alexander Wang. But oh, and this is from Anthropology. This is the outfit of the night. I'm going to freeze. Built to go on to my granddad's. That's him ready to carry on your birthday celebrations. Went for the taxi. Five minutes, still celebrating your 60th. Dex 26. 26? Yeah. Uh -huh. And Sam's 30th. How does it feel having a child that's 30? Should be married and have children by now. Well, he's. I was. He's got Lauren. And let's be honest, they're going to get married and have children, aren't they? Sam, if you're watching this, hurry up. We need a wedding. And I need a niece or a nephew. I actually, the first time I met Lauren, I have a grandchild and I haven't got a fern on it. <laughs> I don't bite my ears. When the first time I met Lauren, we all went for a dinner meal. This is obviously like probably ages ago now. And we were sat at the dinner and I went, I don't want to freak you out, but I can't wait to have nieces and nephews. <laughs> and everyone was just like, she was looking at me like, this girl's crazy, Sam, you've got a crazy family. She's already talking to me about kids. But I just really want them. I would love a niece and nephew. You then I can give them that. YouTube. Yeah. No, I'm just recording for the fun of it. So we're in town. We've had to come to weather schools. That's my little cousin Oren, he's 17. And nowhere would get us in <laughs> up until 9 o'clock. So we've come here for a drink. Mighty man's dying to get in. <laughs> Don't like natural now. <laughs> this is Mighty Man.
my chicken burger. All he's talked about is we've got a new burger coming out. I'm gonna miss release there. You're a good chef, aren't you, Oz? You're a good chef. The best. Have you ever even done chefery before you came to Ben's? <laughs> Soft shell crab. We don't have to We don't We don't We do We girlfriend and staff. Look, I feel like this would make more party for these faces. Oh, that was for you too. <laughs> I love them. Can't wait for them to get married. Sam and Mary? Sam and Lauren. That's a bit different. That's a bit weird. That's one for the programs. Burn said she'll be happy. Just for this one. Just for this one. Dick, what did I get again? Chicken panang. Chicken panang. And look, there's a little candle under there. That's fancy to keep it warm. Yours is nice. What's that? Duck Massaman. <laughs> Does that like Siri? Duck Massaman. <laughs> Chicken, hi yeah. And I got chicken cashewnuts with uh, pineapple and something, so I'm also crazy for that. You don't sound like nice Siri saying that. <laughs> 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 I've you got it on, but now my curry is floating. <laughs> Bought the whole thing up? Yeah, by accident. So Dex just told us that cargo, they take everything around the world on flights and he said that he has transported a rhino and they do all sorts around the world. Like imagine being flying on a plane and thinking a rhino is actually beneath me. Like a five ton rhino. That's wild. Dogs, cats, horses, everything. How wild is that? And the only animal that needs to have someone supervised on board with in case they could come away, obviously the state of the fly, so that they could shoot them is a horse. Not a rhino, not a lion, a horse, because apparently they can kick through the side of the aircraft so the plane would go. How bad is that? I think it's wild death that you chose to be a pilot. I actually said this the other day, where was I flying back from the other day? Oh, Spain with him, and I said to Sam, I don't know how Deck chose to be a pilot because I hate flying. Like, it makes me feel uneasy every time. And you chose that as a profession. You know what else I watched two nights ago? Top Gun. Did you? Yeah, on Netflix, new one. On Netflix. Yeah. That's the reason why I didn't become a pilot. Because it's our, my auntie and my mum's favourite film, Top Gun. Fun fact. Thank you. Make a wish everyone! You've already blown it out? 
You know what Sam has just done? He's just walked to his car to get his car and bring it back here so I don't have to walk outside and get cold. A whole 10 minute walk. That's true love that. He does love me, really. He pretends he hates me, but he doesn't. Good morning, everyone. Happy Good Friday. It's Good Friday today. So excuse the absolute state of me. I am in a rush because it is my granddad's birthday today. Um, and for my grand, it's my brother's 30th in like a few weeks. And it is my granddad's 86th birthday today. And he, um, him and my brother are both diehard Arsenal fans. Um, so I've been trying to sort for like the last week, two weeks, probably like two weeks actually, taking them to see an Arsenal game at the Emirates Stadium. But obviously my granddad is 86, so he can't be like just walking around. Arsenal can't walk that far. So I've been trying to sort to get us to go in a box and I was like, I need to know it by today, I need to know it by today. I've been asking people, then I finally asked Clarice. I was like, Clarice, you support Arsenal. Like, who can I ask to buy box tickets from? So anyway, I finally got someone and I was like, do I order? You know, you can get like the little, um, you can buy them for Etsy, like where it's like a, for a birthday, you would give it and it'll say the name or whatever on. Um, I'm really, really superstitious, like really superstitious. So I was like, I can't do it because I'm jinxing it. Like if I order them, then it, I'm not going to get like, no one's going to say I can buy the tickets. Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I was like, no, I'm not ordering it. I'm not jinxing it. Like, I'm not tempting fate. And then literally last night at like 11 p.m., I got a text like, yeah, Mary, you can buy tickets for this day. So I was like, oh my God. So now this morning I've just made on Canva, which by the way, I am so proud of. I actually think I could go into business for this. If anyone needs like um, a ticket making, shout me. How good is this? So... I've just rang a printing place in like where we live, like in Mall, because I thought it'd be shucks, it's Good Friday. They said that they're open, so I'm gonna run there now, get these printed, and then obviously I'm gonna have to give it to Sam and my granddad today, even though it's not Sam's birthday yet. But yeah, I'm excited. So I'm gonna just run there now, get these printed, and then give them in. I don't think my granddad's ever been to the Emirates Stadium. Sam went last year for his birthday, um, but I don't think my granddad's ever been, so this will just be so nice for them both. Can't believe I pulled it off. Can't believe I pulled it off. Got them. <laughs> they need cutting. And obviously they don't look great, but I'm proud of these. I need to cut them down. But you can't just like give them in speech. I had to give them something. So I'm quite proud of them. Once they're cut down, they look cool. I don't know what I'm gonna put them in though because I'm not gonna fit in the cards because I couldn't work out how to do the size in the printer. But yeah, that's done. Let's go give them their birthday present. We're going to Arsenal. Don't know any of the Arsenal songs like Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. All I know is Thierry Henry, you're having a laugh. But I don't know what that, I feel like that's like the old Arsenal manager or something. My dad used to sing it to them when I was younger, so. Have you got a ticket to an Arsenal match? <laughs> How good are they? I'm so proud of them. So I'm gonna put them in like an envelope and then go and give them them. They look so cool. The surprise went really well, but they wouldn't let me film it. Someone wouldn't let me film it. I was like, can I film you opening? I was like, no. But anyway, those both ecstatic and it went around really well. They we actually thought that the tickets was the real tickets. So I was like, well, save them. And I was like, no, don't save them. They're not real. So yeah, that went down like a treat. So now I need to, hmm, oh yeah, oh yeah, come here then. He loves being here. It's like, he's, he must think like, oh my God, there's two apartments on top of each other. There's two of my houses, because I side upstairs in my apartment and there's a garden. So he just loves being here with people, so many people. So we are ready to go out for the evening meal. I'm actually wearing full Zara again. Zara, 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 Adidas. My Chanel bag. This is the outfit of the night. I need to go. I've literally just got ready in like 20 minutes. I fell asleep all afternoon. Didn't do anything. But going to go now and celebrate my grandpapa. So I've got the star to have got Patty and Ralphie. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is my main. I got 
prawn gambaroni. That got steak. We've got lamb. Everyone's eating. Lauren waited. That's so nice, Lauren. Thank you so much. This is how I'm having to eat this spaghetti and this new cream jumper. No, it's cream jumper, cream jacket. Hello, everyone. We are back in Manchester. It is actually Easter Sunday today. So I'm back in Manchester, me and Ralphie, and the girls are here, and we are going out for some breakfast to celebrate the day of the risen. We're actually just debating now. Pippa always wears hats, and she just never seems to look like the hat on, right? I don't know what it is. Like, apparently, I need to. If you I feel like, like no, this. It was like, like this. Yeah, it you was come, like that. You come in like this. It was like going to McDonald's. <laughs> You need to like, yeah, pull it down. Because Maybe you can down see the, the back a little bit. Yeah, it needs to be flat I think it's just head. my head tight. Like, oh, like that. You want them to see? Yeah, I can never see when I wear hats either. Like what, is supposed to be like, you Maybe, maybe you need to pull it down a little bit at the back. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's better. Oh, oh, Ralphie. So we're just gonna go grab some breakfast at Trough in Manchester. No, what? no, not Trough. What am I on about? We're off to go at Haunt. This is the outfit of the day. Oh, thank you. I don't know why my camera's gone blue. What the fuck? We're back on normal clothes, I don't know what happened there. So unfortunately I had a jacket that didn't have writing on. So just ignore that, it's gonna be topped. But some trousers from Adenola, some new fresh Air Force. A little grey hoodie just so you can see the hood and then this jacket from my like H&M so this is the outfit I that's going to really get on my tits this is the outfit of the day should we put your lead on I was having a drink and go get some brekkie he he's such a big boy now. where's my teddy Ralphie hi 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 my gorgeous boy should we go walking? <gasps> Should we go walking? Shall Yay! We? Mommy, let's go walking! Yay! It doesn't look right. Uh, it doesn't. It, doesn't. <laughs> it looks fine. Oh, I, don't, I don't think it does. Coffee date. Oh, we're going to go again! Looked in my bag and completely saw and realised my camera was there. Breakfast. I had avocado and eggs and toast. I mean, I will insert a picture of what it looked like, but I didn't vlog it. I completely forgot that I didn't see vlog him. The Rizzle Coil that I got for Christmas. My lips are really soft. Ralphie has been an absolute dream. He's so tired after winning Leeds for the weekend, for the week even. So we're just having a little walk back now. Sorry, I forgot to vlog that. I just completely slipped my mind that I was vlogging. Yeah. Breakfast was a success. Weather's gorgeous. Happy Easter Sunday. Everyone. Now Mary MUA is going to do Kate's makeup because she's going out. It's fine, call and she didn't invite me. So I'm going to do a makeup and show off my skills. <laughs> Mm. Be transformed. Ready? Gonna transform in three, two, one. Ta-da! This is the makeup. It was actually caused me quite a bit of stress, but I'm transformed. You are. You look gorgeous, Kat. Not that you, you always do anyway. But I'm not like Mary. <laughs> well, not right now. I look awful. But makeup done. I'm makeup actually proud done. of that. You look amazing. Thank you. Morning. This is the last Morning. day of the vlog I'm gonna do, the last day I spend the week. We've got Baldy Locks, we've got two very hungover <laughs> members of the group, and Sophie, and we're gonna go for some lunch. These Small two are block. dying, it's Kate's makeup obviously did Hello. wonders, cause she got steaming. Oh, yeah. Sophie's here, Hello. and obviously Ralphie. But yeah, we're gonna go for some little lunch, Sunday lunch, even though it's Monday. A spot of lunch, darling. At the, at the wharf, at Chili Hill. Oh, darling, do you want to go spot of lunch at the wharf? And Ralphie's coming. And Ralphie! Hi, my baby! My baby! My baby! My baby! My baby! baby, baby. I've got my baby back. So, yeah, we're gonna go. Gonna go. Gonna go. That's that then. That was good. 
So that's that then. So that's that then. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go <laughs> to the wharf and have some lunch now. Are we going to have you to the wharf? Just a little rainy walk oh, down the canal to get to the wharf. Puffy's loving life. I have got an umbrella. I feel so bougie, but the, I think the umbrella's broken. Like, this isn't how it's meant to be, is it? I feel like I should just ditch it. Balfi's actually just a lady food lunch dog. He just sits here, ordering some sausages. It's sausages? They're not sausages, oh. but I've ordered some to come with our dinner. Look. <laughs> we sat outside because the hungover girls wanted some fresh air. <laughs> I was boiling and I'm the one who got sat underneath the heater. It's absolutely it's gross. Really it's quite nice inside, oh. I think. It's too hot in there. I could have passed away. I went inside, I was like, am I hungover? I didn't drink. I actually just sunk a bottle of vodka by myself last night. <laughs> didn't make any of you notice. Me and Ralphie, you're hungover too, aren't you? But I've got to do that. Did we all do this on purpose? We've all got the exact same thing. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Screaming yeah. hangover. Mine's called Zero. Zero. <laughs> so. You don't look hungover. I don't know if he likes these treats. He always plays with his treats. Ralphie! Hey! Hi, my gorgeous boy! You got sausages coming? <coughs> yeah. To wrap the baby up because it's cold. It's okay, my baby. Oh, what's wrong? Decide to eat the dinner because it's too cold outside. Ralph was crying. Crispy beef salad after everyone in the table telling me not to have. Do you want? Do you want salmon? No, I want crispy beef. Do you want sea bass? No, I want crispy beef. Do you want it? No, I want crispy beef. And Ralph, he's got some sausages. He's clearly not much of an eater. Falling asleep next to the sausages. He probably had about two. Oh well. Back. We walked to get fruit. On the way back, and now we're just gonna have a nice chilled afternoon with the hungover too. But I'm gonna bring this vlog to a close now. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.